What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Soul Break. Thanks for stopping by my channel. So as you can see from the title and thumbnail of this video, uh, I was finally able to land a pair of the Air Jordan 6 Carmines. Now, originally I expected to cop maybe like two pairs of these because I knew that like these weren't gonna be that limited in terms of numbers. But with all the pandemic situation going around, I think there was something funky uh, going on with the release of these. Like they were released through like various raffles, like across a, a different set of dates, a uh, different set of stores. And it was just like, it was just miserable because I was not able to hit on any of the raffles naturally. And you know, I, I still didn't want to pay resale for these because I mean, even if the resale premium wasn't too high, I just didn't want to pay that price for this. Like, I appreciate the, the history of this model and it's a very beautiful uh, pair of sneakers, but still, I, it, it just felt wrong for me to go for a, a shoe for resale for something that I would have been easily able to cop if it, was, if it wasn't for that, like the entire like pandemic nonsense. But <clears throat> finally, some stores as well as JD Sports in my country uh, decided to have like a, a, another release uh, yesterday and they did like a install raffle as well as a first come first serve uh, uh, release. So I thought, you know, this is gonna be my very last chance to uh, cop this pair for retail. So what I did was that I, I went to the store maybe like two and a half hours before it opened. And surprisingly, there were some people ahead of me already, but I still thought, you know, waiting maybe two hours to three hours in line to cop a pair that you really want is, I think it's reasonable. I mean, it's, it's not like overnight camping in front of the store uh, in the cold. So I thought, you know, it was going to be a reasonable amount of time to, you know, invest. And I knew my size was gonna, uh, was gonna sell out pretty quickly. And when the, uh, the store opened, I, I walked in, you know, we went in two by two and I was quite worried because my size was really selling out quickly. But luckily enough, I was able to cop my pair in my size. And I think they ran out, they sold out basically like after like, like two to three minutes after I was able to purchase my pair in my size. So I feel really, really blessed to finally have copped this pair. And I'm so excited to be able to review this guy, uh, this, uh, shoe for you guys so let's just dive right into the shoe obviously if you know you know and i'm pretty sure you've seen a lot of reviews already online but let's just uh, go through the de details really quickly so obviously on the side of this shoe you've got that signature like carmine six you know uh red uh panels all done in this kind of new buck material and what i've noticed is that this new buck feels kind of spongy uh, compared to say like pairs such as the uh, the DMP sixes, I'm not saying like the material is bad. It 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 does feel like it it's kind of soft and it doesn't feel premium, but it feels pretty nice yet different. If you get what I mean, so yeah, it definitely it seems a little different from what we've been what we've been seeing on different Jordan six models, and. Uh, in between those panels, you've got that crisp white leather all stitched onto the side of the shoe. And on the toe box, you got more of that kind of spongy, smooth, red nubuck. And I know some people have been talking about, you know, how the red is a little different from the, the original or like the past pairs of Carmine Sixes. But, you know, I don't have any nostalgia for this pair. I've never been able to uh, uh, see the original shoe. so. Uh, I can't really tell for sure, but what I've been seeing from like online photos, it does seem a little different. It does seem a little darker than what we've been seeing in past models, but I'm not complaining. It, it, I think, you know, Jordan Brand did a really good job of, you know, putting this model together. And moving towards the upper of the shoe, you've got that really nice, uh, smooth kind of like, uh, what is this, like neoprene, um, tongue here with like the perforated holes and then you got the cotton white laces all factory laced onto the uh the the jordan 6 model here and then here you got that uh carmine uh, red <coughs> neoprene uh lace holder material and then you got that jordan Jumpman embroidered in black and you know i don't know the moment i pulled these out of the uh the, the box i was so delighted because 
it's been a while since I've seen like a Jordan Retro model with such nice QC. I might have been really lucky with my pair. And I know there's have been like rumors about, you know, like uh, the midsole problem going around. But for some reason, like the, the QC on this pair is really on point. Like I, obviously there are some like glue marks and all that, but I was really, really surprised. And I was really happy that my pair had basically zero problems. And on top of that, you've got that red uh, plastic lace lock with the Nike branding in black. And I, when I wear these, I'm probably gonna like wear, uh, lace the, uh, the white laces over the lace lock instead of removing them. And I think that's gonna be a pretty good look. And here we've got the typical Jordan 6 tongue with the Jordan branding and this kind of rubbery type of material and it's clean cut if this thing focuses all right yeah and then <clears throat> on the side of the shoe on the ankle area you've got that typical air jordan 6 bubble all done in this crisp white leather as well and what i've noticed is that this white leather used on this particular model is uh it feels quite buttery uh, I was expecting this to feel similar to may, uh, maybe the uh, the Fire Red 5s that we've seen last year, but I think the, the, the feel of this material is slightly better than that. I'm pretty sure it's not any type of like premium leather or whatever, but it, it, it just feels a lot more smooth and buttery compared to some other Jordan Retro models. So you can just tell from my voice that I'm really, really excited and delighted about the QC on this pair and the quality of the materials. So it's really nice. And then the sock liner is this cotton light, uh, sock liner, all done in black. And then the insole is all done in black as well with the Nike Air branding printed in white. And on the back of the shoe, we see that typical OG treatment, Nike Air logo, all embroidered in red, and the embroidery is on point as well. I, basically, you can see, like, you can't see any like uh, major flaws in the embroidery. And then all here on the ankle area, we've got that uh, typical uh, Air Jordan 6 heel tab in this black plastic material with the red accent. And as you know, this was derived from like uh, Jordan's Porsche model. So yeah, that's, that's, that's always a uh, nice kind of like spoiler type of detail on the shoe. And it's really cool. And then on the medial side, it's basically the same deal. And I was pretty uh, impressed by the midsole as well because, you know, uh, you see that white spot over there, but overall the paint job is quite nice. There's no like cracks in there or anything like that, all done in black. And then the midsole and outsole is basically that, you know, uh, blue tinted icy outsole that we see on a lot of Jordan 6 models. And for some reason it goes really, really well with the overall shoe. And man, it's just something special about the ice sole here. I know they're yellow over time, but I mean, <laughs> if you wear your shoes, you're, they're just gonna get dirty anyway. So that's really not a problem for me. And then on the front area, you see that typical Air Jordan 6 traction pad and the kind of these like holes uh, in the front area, all done in white. And in the middle of the outsole, you've got that Jordan Jumpman all done in this red accent. It's really nice, no bleeding. And on the bag, we see more of that kind of blue icy outsole uh, material. So yeah, I mean, I'm so, so happy to finally have landed this pair. It's just, it is so beautiful to look at and it's even better when you wear these. Um, in terms of wearability, uh, it is a pretty tricky shoe because it's like white and red. It is pretty loud, but I mean, if you wear Jordans, they're loud to begin with. And if you, you know, pull it off with the right fit, let's say like, you know, some gray sweatpants or like black jogger pants, black sweatpants, or like shorts for that matter, since the weather's getting warmer, it really shouldn't be a problem. You know, it's, this is supposed to be a loud, flashy, you know, type of shoe. So it really shouldn't be a problem. You're not gonna wear these to like a business meeting. Uh, I mean, if you do, mad respect to you. But anyways, um, yeah. So sizing wise, um, I go true to size with my Jordan 6s. I have no problem with that. That's what I go with my, uh, the Travis Scott 6s as well. And, but what I've noticed is that the, the toe area is pretty roomy. 
uh, compared to say maybe like the Jordan 4s. So if you have like narrow feet, maybe going half like half size down should be okay for you as well. But I wouldn't recommend going half a size up or like a full size up because this is surprisingly roomy when you put them on. And I know a lot of people kind of complain how the Jordan 6 feels stiff uh, under feet, but you can always swap out the outsoles for like, you know, say like the Ortholite outsoles or whatever. Those don't cost that much. And that's what I might do if they do feel like pretty stiff underneath, but I have no, I have no problem wearing these. So yeah. And resale wise, I don't know. I, I don't think the resale premium is that high. You know, I, once again, like the stock numbers for these shouldn't be that low. I've heard rumors that these are like, they have more stocks for these uh, compared to the Fire Red 4s. So, you know, there are a lot of pairs of those going around. So it really shouldn't be a problem uh, copying these. And considering that this is a OG retro that, you know, Jordan actually wore, I mean, that resale pr premium is basically nothing. So if you want to cop a pair for uh, uh, resale, I think now is a good time. These will, might go up in uh, price over the years, but I, I would say like the, the uh, premium should be minor for at least like a couple months. So yeah, I mean, this would be a definite, definite cop if you like to collect OG retros. And once again, <clears throat> um, I've never have held like the original pair in my hand, but what I've seen from like a lot of videos and pictures, I think Jordan Brand did a really good job of, you know, uh, you know, putting together all the details as true as uh, as closely as possible to the original model. So kudos to Jordan Brand for that. Anyways, I'm glad that I finally have this shoe in my collection. And please let me know if you guys were able to hit on a pair of the Carmine 6s. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow. I think we're almost near that 500 mark. Uh, it would really mean a lot to me to hit that mark. Uh, maybe like next month, I don't know. Uh, but we got to dream big. So anyways, yeah, have a good weekend. I'll keep I'll be pushing more uh, videos really soon. Oh, actually, I have a really cool video coming up really soon. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, thanks for watching.